and welcome to quantitative aptitude video from careerright.com. In this video, we would be dealing with problems on time and work. This is a very frequently asked topic in various aptitude examinations conducted by bank, government bodies and various B schools. Now, this video's main intention is to make you aware of almost all the concepts from the chapter time and work so that by the end of this video you are in a comfortable position while dealing with the problems from this chapter. Now let's get started. The first question. A can do a work in 30 days and B can do a work in 40 days. Now if they work on the same work for 4 days then the fraction of the work that would be left would be now A can do the work for 30 days and B can do the work for whole work in 40 days. So A's one day work would be 1 by 30, B's one day work would be 1 by 40. Now we know that A's one day work 1 by 30, B's one day work 1 by 40. So A plus B's one day work would be 1 by 30 plus 1 by 40 that is 7 by 120. Now if we want to find A's four day work after which uh, both have stopped doing the work. So A's four, A plus B's four day work would be 4 into 7 by 20 that is 7 by 30. Now we need to find the remaining work because after 4 days A, have, A plus B have worked 7 by 30. So the remaining work would be 1 minus 7 by 30 that is 23 by 30 that would be the answer. Second question. A can lay a railway track between two given stations in 32 days. B can do the same job in 24 days. Now with the help of C they did the job in 8 days we need to find that how much days would C alone take to do the job. Now we know that A plus B plus C's one day work would be 1 by 8 as they all complete the work in 8 days. A's alone one day work would be 1 by 32 as A completes the work in 32 days and B's one day work would be 1 by 24. So we'll add both these work and subtract in this whole so we get the value of C's one day work. So C's one day work would be 1 by 8 minus 1 by 32 plus 1 by 24. We get 5 by 96 which is C's one day work. So C alone can do the job in 96 by 5 days. We will reverse. Why we have done this? We know that A plus B plus C's one day work is 1 by 8. That means A plus B plus C completes the work in 8 days. As same way C's one day work is 5 by 96. So we will reverse. So C can alone do the job in 96 by 5 days. Third question. A can finish a work in 36 days and B can do the same work in 30 days. Now B worked for 20 days and left the job. In how many days A alone can finish the remaining work? Now B worked for 20 days and B can do the work in 30 days. So B's one day work would be 1 by 30. But B work for only 20 days. So 20 into 1 by 30 would be 2 by 3 is the work done by B. Now we are saying that A alone can finish the remaining work in how many days. So what amount of work is left? B work 2 by 3. 1 minus 2 by 3 is 1 by 3. This is the amount of work left. So A finished the work in 36. That means 1 by 36 work is done by A in one day. So 1 by 3 work would be done by A in 36 into 1 by 3 that is 12 days. Now fourth question. A and B can together finish a work in 60 days. They work together for 40 days and then B left. Uh, after another 40 days A finish the remaining work. In how many days A alone can finish the work? Now A and B can together finish a work in 60 days. So A plus B's one day work would be 1 by 60. Now they work for 40 days and then B left. So how much amount of work they have done in 40 days? So A plus B is 40 days work would be 40 by 60. That is 40 into 1 by 60. That is 2 by 3. So there is still 1 by 3 amount of work remaining. 1 minus 2 by 3. Now what they are asking? After another 40 days, A finish the remaining work. In how many days A alone can finish the work? So 1 by 3 amount of work is remaining and which is completed by A in 40 days. The remaining work. So 1 by 3 work is completed by A in 40 days. So A will complete the whole work in 3 into 40. As 1 third is completed in 40 days. So 2 third would be completed in 80 days. And 
and then one work total work work would be completed in three into forty. That is one twenty days. Now last question. Twenty girls can complete complete a work in fourteen days, and twelve boys take twenty eight days to complete the work. How many days will ten girls and twenty boys take to complete the work? Now we know that twenty girls can complete the work in fourteen days. So twenty girls one day work would be one by fourteen. We need to find one girls one day work. So one girls one day work would be this whole thing will be divided by twenty. That is one by fourteen into twenty. This is one by two eighty. That is one girls one day work. Now twenty boys one day work would be one by twenty eight. As twenty boys complete the work in twenty days. So one boys one day work would be twenty divided by one by twenty eight. So one by twenty into twenty eight. That is one by five sixty. Now ten girls and twenty boys take how much time to do the work? So ten girls and twenty boys one day work would be ten by two eighty, twenty by five sixty. Ten girls, so that ten multiplied into one girls one day work that is ten into one by two eighty that is ten by two eighty, and then twenty into one by five sixty. Twenty boys work, so twenty into five by six, twenty into one by five six 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 sixty. That is two by twenty eight, so one by fourteen. So ten girl and twenty boys take fourteen days to complete the work. I hope this video would help you gain a bit of confidence when it comes to solving the problems from chapter time and work. Thank you.